Hong Kong former inmates, the numbers provide the second transit to those who need it most. The morning is cold and dark when Sister Rose McNally come out of the old brick building on Beacon Hill and open the gates to the street. She then go back inside and they are in a warm kitchen with coffee almost ready. The woman who lives upstairs come down to talk big things, little things, McNally, 75. Sister of Statue of Corundalate. Listen, this woman is in Kendra, settling in more, settling in more each day. Seems they arrive new generally house. They they can sign immediately because that's the day we got out of pres, prison. Say sure by the Fifty three. Four years. Catholic nuns here live a pile pile place of convent convent. Now they share the home with with fifteen younger women who has been stabbed, beaten, more less, hog on drugs and serve time, finding new purpose. The idea of generally house is they will help those those women with job search, life skills, rehabilitation and health care while uh, while they keeping them off straight and out of trouble. Her mom say those women give them new purpose, stroking hearts that answer the calling long ago. A few times the calling has come in the middle of the night from a woman needing a ride home. The nuns pull on their robe and head out. I have seen the parts of the city I didn't know exist, say Sister Gabrielle Smith Smith at seventeen two, the youngest of the group, the oldest, Sister Masa Nyman, eighty seven, smiled and said, I like it here. There's always something going on. Georgia Walker's a former nurse and is exclusive director of Journey to New Life organi organization that opened the house has a rap shoot herself for transplanting Honeywell plan to protest nuclear weapons. He names has a gambling problem. Addiction is very lonely, she said. A lot of sharing goes on in a general house. Those women from prisoners said the press is the closest to the family they have had in years. I don't really have family now anymore, says Sandy Light Tale 48. The sister of my family knows I will never be able to repay them for what they have done for me. Like everyone here, I have done drugs and I have done crime. And I know God is working through them to get to us. Sometimes we need to let each other up, Walker says, but there is not that I regret coming here. How generally house came into existence. The society of the players I guess was looking for a buyer for a building that had been used for press training. The society pitched the building to Operation Breakthrough, a large urban children care provider. Breakthrough director's sister Beta Sarah declined, but said she knows someone who might be interested. Sarah is on a board for Generating to New Life. The non the non profit organization was set two years ago to help people living prisoners 
to make a person make transition back into society. Housing is a constant challenge. Worker first brought the idea of opening a house for women and McNally, the chair woman of journalism board, told her she was crazy. Then McNally and others got on the board and people said they were all crazy. The whole thing appeared moot because journalism house didn't have money to buy the building anyway. But then a donor who want, want to remain announcements Right, wrote a check for $347,000 to buy the place. Generally, house couldn't have been done, never, could, could never, never have, done. have done this on our own, McNally said. After remodeling and furniture, virtually everything donated, including double by 75 volunteers. The journey house opened in September 2015. The home now have a waiting list after quickly filling to its, its long limit of 15 women. Offering a new star, Susie Rowling, a case worker at New at journey to new life, knows all the sister well. They are doing what Jesus would do, reach out to society, forgotten populations. Lula says they are giving these women love, dignity, and a fresh start, which is not, which is what they, which is not what they okay. would get from their pre- their PO. Obvious sir, and a halfway house. These women range in age from 23 to 55. Some is estranged from family. Some are. Some are estranged from family. Almost all had been in prison for non violence, mostly associated with. Nonviolence crimes, mostly associated with additions. On recent morning, when Kobe drove, they talked mostly about world class drug tests and court tests. Some, like Veronica Pullen, 43, spent time upstairs in a computer room where its equipment was donated to help job search study and we established family tales. Purun has been a wife, mother, and truck driver until going to prison. She was ad- added to addicted, a, a, addicted to a, a, a opiatis. Opiatis. She had no way to talk with her tri- children until finding that on Facebook. Now she often went to her young her young daughter's works. Hi mommy, which sometimes make her cry. I want my life back. Purun says the woman stood out cleaning and cooking. We got to come and go. They are they just like to know where we are. Say Nanan Mason, who hopes to land a job as a nursing assistant. Practicing what they preach. When the press first opened, the thought is that a typical stay will be 30 days. No, days die. That's more like 90, but that's okay. McNally said, What happened here is too important. It's one thing to say that we see God in every, everyone. Here we live it every day. It's, that is working. At 10 p.m., the long day and general house ends. McNally, earliest riser, already sleeps. Gates closed, light out, hard stroke. Oh.